Let's go across to Cuba now. The strong winds ahead of Hurricane Ayn have started pounding the southern coast. The island nation has declared an emergency alert in multiple provinces as the fast approaching hurricane is strengthening rapidly. The local Cuban authorities claim that some 50,000 people in western province have been moved to safer locations. 6,000 of these evacuated people have been sent to state-run shelters while the rest have taken shelter in homes of relatives and friends. The authorities further added that maximum sustained winds are near 155 kilometers per hour. peligroso como todo nosotros siempre nos aseguramos ¿viste? pero como vivimos en la playa no, estamos casi ya se acostumbrados a estas cosas ¿viste? siempre también nos vamos por pueblo ¿viste? Porque, para que no, porque aquí entra mucho el agua aquí sube el agua cantidad aseguramos las cosas y nos vamos por pueblo pero estamos casi adaptados a estas cosas ya the fast growing storm is centered about 250 kilometers southeast of Cabo San Antonio in far western Cuba I jumped in intensity in recent hours with maximum sustained winds of 155 kilometers per hour making it a category 2 hurricane on a five step scale the storm is forecast to strengthen into a category 3 hurricane as it starts impacting US state of Florida in the hours to come US president Joe Biden has approved emergency and aid to 24 counties in Florida and the city of Tampa is under a hurricane watch. The governor has declared a state of emergency in all 67 counties of the state. Officials are scrambling to prepare for the storm's forecast landing on Wednesday or on Thursday. The governor warned people to prepare for power cuts and stock up food, water, medicine and even fuel. The governor has activated 7,000 National Guard members to help with the effort. all you new Floridians who haven't been through one of these before, uh, just understand, just remain calm. There, there's no need to panic. Uh, listen to the folks at the local level. Listen to what they advise in terms of uh, preparations, any, any evacuations. Uh, if you are going to be in your home when the power goes out and you have one of the generators, just understand those generators must be operated outside the home. Authorities in several Florida municipalities, including Miami, Fort Landadol, and Tampa, have started distributing free sandbags to the residents to help protect their homes from the risk of flooding.